and Tim will not be centered, and this is what it looks like. And it could be verbally, it could be physically. Okay, now we're going to show it being centered. And even though a person is being pushed back, our minds are always extending forward. So you're going to see the difference in his body language. He's going to blend with it. And at any given moment, people get out of the way. <clears throat> Once more. Very good. Now with your tokens. We also train with weapons and their tools to help us with our extension, to help us with our focus. <clears throat> so he's going to give him a movement, a strike, and he's going to blend with it. Take my knife out.
So we're going to show you things. This will be something for women. Um, so if Gary or let's say somebody puts their arm around you and you don't really want their arm around you, <laughs> <laughs> you can easily. <laughs> and let's say he puts his arm around your a bit of this way. He goes this way. You just take your hand right where it is. You start moving away. And let's say I'm walking and he grabs my wrist. So notice, very slowly, I'm going with the flow. If I was not centered, grab two hands, I would be doing this. It would be truly physical. But watch where the energy goes. I go with it. And then I drop my weight using my center. Let's say he comes and he grabs my wrist and I'm walking. The real goal is not to even be accessible or be grabbed. As I'm walking, I'm using my soft gaze, and I feel him coming toward me, the energy, it's better to move, to control that first move. In any situation, you're not going to be accessible to that grab. Thank you, Gary.